Hey, Jovan here with your free NBA two-team parlay for Friday, November 25th, 2022. Now, you know it's the pick dogs. We love giving our free picks. But if you want my best bets, the best that I'm putting in today, go to the website, pickdogs.com, where you can find my or one of our other world-class handicappers picks for today. Now, let's run down this two-team that I got for y'all in the association. Now, first, we're going to go to Memphis, where the New Orleans Pelicans are facing the Memphis Grizzlies, and these two teams played about a week ago, I believe without John Moran, and the final result was New Orleans Pelicans won the game by 11, 113-102, but I think in this one, you know, quick revenge spot turnover game, you know, quick turnover from last week, I think John Moran and the boys get it back. John Moran just came back last game. They ended up losing by four, but I think in this one, they get reacclimated to, to their winning ways, and they take down the New Orleans Pelicans. So give me the Memphis Grizzlies, and that's number one of my two-team parlay. Now, number two of my two-team parlay, we're going to go to San Antonio, where the Los Angeles Lakers are facing the San Antonio Spurs, and, you know, I'm a Lakers fader. I'm a Lakers hater. That's just what it is over on this side. But it's well warranted this year. This team is just a bad bunch, a bunch of guys that just can't shoot the ball. And there's no way that I'll be laying points on the road with the Lakers team. So it's a fade of, of them. Give me the Spurs catching points, catching five points at this point in, um, in this one. So give me the Spurs, and that's number two on my two-team parlay. Now, let's reiterate this one. Now, number one on my two-team parlay, we have the Grizzlies. And number two on my two-team parlay, we have the Spurs. Book it, catch it, do what you got to do with it, but go to the website, pickdogs.com, where you can find my or one of our other world-class handicappers' picks. Now smash that like button, let's get this money, and hit the book where it hurts.